Hello everyone, welcome again to Mamu's Care channel. I'm Yen. Today I'm going to talk about this debate against versus broad tip, which is these two pairs on my right here, and versus thin tip, which is right on my left here. So at the start, I actually bought this pen, which is called Unibo Air, and this is manufactured by this uh, Mitsubishi company. And this is the 0 0.7 tip pen. Another one that I've been using since I started sketching is this Uniball Signal Joystick 0 0.7. This is also another pen made by Mitsubishi Company. And today I'm going to show you some sketches that I've done using those 0 0.7 broad tip pen and what are the cons as a starting beginner sketches. So um, this is one of the sketch that I've done with this uh, 0 0.7 um, signal gel pen. All right, uh, I do not like this sketch at all because some of the lines are uh, they're very hard to control, and uh, it seems like some portion of it they're actually um, smudging. Well, as you can see, when I zoom in further, and uh, this portion here that I'm talking about like uh, doesn't turn out well and it's, there's a big patch of muddy lines here and some of the lines they are quirky or slanted which I'm not able to control very well when starting out as sketching using this type of um, gel pen and another sketch um, what I've done quite badly was uh, this sketch here about this rhinoceros I do not like this sketch at all because of the fat broad lines that um, I'm not able to refine it and um, it looks very flat, very uh, muddy and very kind of a raw look especially the leaf over here alright I did not control it very well and um, some lines are like they are actually closing up together the lines here so I don't like this sketch at all due to this reason so this is the recent sketch that I've done using this you know, Uniball Air and um, I'm having some difficulties in uh, drawing details like the shoelace over here and I'm afraid that if I add more details it will become muddy and um, the lines all close up and same for the figures over here and uh, the hands all these they become very, very thick lines which I do not uh, like it at all so and also I'm not able to draw very full details on the facial expression for this lady here so later on maybe I try to get those 0 0.05 tip to draw in the facial uh, details so um, these are the difficulties that I face while actually trying out when I was beginning sketching using this um, broad tip pen so uh, in a summary, there are actually four cons that you may need to consider when trying out in your first sketches, all right? That is number one, it's not able to go into deeper details because of the broad tip constraint. Number two, it will e eventually having this kind of muddy effect if not careful enough. Number three, it will give you a raw look on your sketches. If you don't like this kind of effect, then please uh, don't try it when you're at the beginning stage or well, number four is um, you will face challenges when trying to control the stroke because they are very thick they are not able to control very well and then once you have a stroke on it you're not able to correct it easily after talking for so many uh, cons about the 0 0.7 broad tip pen as a beginner stage so today right now I'm going to talk about uh, recommend those pen which is more recommended for uh, new sketchers and artists so for these two sketch I've been drawing with this uh, 0 0.38 signal pen and uh, this is under Mitsubishi company as well so what I like about this pen is uh, they are very easy to control right when you're trying to draw all these details very small details there is no muddy effect and I think that as a beginner level artist you need this kind of confident uh, level um, so that you can proceed to go on and draw daily doing your artwork so this type of pen is more recommended as a uh, per my opinion 
and look at this sketch here this is the place a science center that I've been I brought my child to recently and uh, I've started to draw all these skeletons using this this uh, fine tip pen and uh, the effect turns out quite well and I'm like, uh, I'm quite satisfied with the with the drawing so uh, it actually helped me to boost up my confidence level motivate me to draw more so um, and one of the tips that I recommend for a newcomer is uh, don't try to hold a tip uh, just like when you're writing all right because when writing you need more strength to, you need more you need to apply more pressure onto your stroke but for drawing itself you no need to apply so much pressure on it like in the end you will have the kind of very stiff lines which may not look very natural at all so for myself is I always hold it at the mid of the pen for this drawing I'm using this style like drawing a midline holding the midline sorry uh, in this way uh, I'll let the pen to draw it to flow itself for the stroke and this type of pen the ink came up very easily so you don't need to apply too much pressure onto the pen itself so try to hold it mid midway and then let the line just flow it through onto the paper to glide on the paper and do not be afraid when your line is slanted because this is eventually your style right try to create a free flow style as yourself right so this is the line that created I, it is not straight but I love the style okay and another pen that I recommend is this Uniball Eye waterproof uh, ultra micro but I'm not very sure if this is actually a 0 0.38 or 0 0.5 but the stroke looks fine right I love it because uh, same as the signal pen it flows out very well and then I, some artists I saw it on, on Instagram they're actually using this type of pen so it is recommended to use this as a beginner sketcher so after today's sessions I hope that you will take away some knowledge from my video and uh, um, if you feel that uh, you love my, my topics and my channel, please feel free to subscribe it and uh, write down the comments if you have anything for me. Thank you.